Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production. Today I'd like to show you something that should be coming soon. It's called Inflator. It's actually not a new plugin, it's a device inside M Wave Shaper MB. So if you have that, this will be coming for free. If not, you can just pick up M Wave Shaper MB and check it out. So this one is a really cool effect just to make things louder and more in your face. So if that's what you want, be sure to check this out. I have a song here. It's already fairly loud, but I'll let you listen to it. Okay, so I have the limiter on there, but it's not really doing much. And what we're going to do is just add it right here. So we just go into saturation, M Wave Shaper MB, like this. And you see we have lots of de devices here, but we want to use this, this inflator here. And this just give us a nice loud effect. When you play it at first, it's not going to do anything. I'm just maybe making it a decibel louder or something, but it's not really doing much. What we want to do is we want to raise the input and decrease the output, and you'll see something here with the gain reduction meter. Now I think you can hear it, it sounds louder with this on, but one of the problems is, for me, this is doing a little bit too much distortion. For something like maybe a snare drum, this might be perfect. But for some other things, you may not want that. So what we can do is start over, actually, right click these, and we're gonna use the multi-band setting. The multi-band setting for me doesn't have quite as noticeable distortion, you can push it a little bit harder. So let's do the same thing with this. So to me, this is making it more in your face. I try to level match it as much as possible, but you can see even with a level match, it kind of just pushes it forward. Now, this effect knob will change it to like 100%. This is almost like a wet dry knob. So I'll move this up and down so you can hear what it's doing. Okay, and we have this asymmetric knob, which will add, uh, I think, even and odd harmonics here. Uh, so we'll probably have to push this harder when I have this on, but we can do that. Here we go. So it just brings everything just right in your face. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Something's in my throat, but that's all right. Here we go. Uh, if we want to see what's inside, luckily we can actually you know see what's there. Oh, on top of this, it has locks here. So if you want to lock one of these while you mess with the other things, you can do that. But let's take a look inside. So if we move the multi-parameters out here, we can see exactly what it's doing. So the input and output are exactly like you expect. Input is increasing the input for these. Output is decreasing the output. Multi-band changes it from one band here to three bands, and each band, same thing is happening. The curve, we look at this graph down here, adjust that, and the effect is adjusting the wet-dry, like this. Now the asymmetric is changing this to asymmetric mode like this. 
and turning the DC block on. So it's a fairly simple effect, but it has a great sound and this can really be used to you know, like push your sounds. Now this may not be great for every single application, but maybe for metal or maybe EDM or anything where you really want something used forward and in your face, this is a great effect. So this should be coming to M Wave Shaper with the next update. You see, I already have the, the beta here, but it should be available to everybody very soon. So when you have that, check it out and use it to make things, you know, loud, in your face, and great sounding. So if you have any questions, leave those down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this, and check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.